At the end of the conference, uh, we will have charted very specific next steps in each of the areas that we have looked at. Next steps on the part of whom? Well, these are next steps to be recommended to, first of all, the, the, the UN agencies that deal with different uses of the ocean, like the Food and Agriculture Organization that deals with fisheries. A lot of those recommendations, you know, will go directly to the FAO. Uh, a number of recommendations will go to the, to the processes associated with the UN General Assembly and bodies of the UN General Assembly. For example, on this issue of governance uh, of areas beyond national jurisdiction, this big coming issue, we have some very specific recommendations that will actually be inputted into the next meeting of, of uh, the UN process for looking at this issue, which is at the end of this month. So there will be a direct uh, linkage there. Then we have, you know, recommendations to national governments. You know, what does it take to accelerate progress on integrated coastal management? How are we doing that? We're doing that by looking at best practices around the world, you know, and drawing lessons and suggesting to governments specific next steps they might take in the particular area. Added to that, in particular with the national governments and with the donor community, you know, the money givers, the global environment facility, the, the aid agencies, and so on. We are especially targeting recommendations on capacity building. Capacity building is essential for achieving, you know, good balance between environment and development in, in these uh, huge uh, ocean and coastal areas. And we really are lacking in this area in many regions, particularly in the small island states regions, particularly in, uh, in Africa and Latin America. So we have, on the basis of assessments that the Global Forum has done, we have come up with very specific and detailed uh, recommendations uh, in this area. Also, one of the things in the capacity area that, that we are very much pursuing is the kind of the encouragement of ocean leadership. Leadership, you know, among the highest levels of government around the world. But, you know, people who understand and have a broad vision, who understand the interrelationship between oceans, coasts, small island states, climate, biodiversity, who understand the, the linkages among them, and people who are able to, to work and relate to the international level, which provides a lot of the rules and provides a lot of the money, to the national political level, which is where things happen, and you have to know how to operate there very well, to the community level, where is sort of where the rubber meets the road and where the people uh, really live. But, you know, we're, we're trying to encourage ocean leadership, visionary ocean leadership in all of these countries around the world with some very specific programs aimed at doing that. Also, we are very concerned with the question and have very detailed suggestions on the formation of new ocean leaders through the creation of, you know, specialized university programs in this area, which, you know, have not happened in, in areas of the world like Latin America, Africa, the small island states. So we have very tangible recommendations there. We also, um, you know, we also have, and, and, you know, we have a special group dealing with this, but we, we also have recommendations to the general public. You know, what can the average, what can the regular, ordinary, everyday citizen do on these matters. They can do a lot. They can do a lot. Each of us can take responsibility for the effects, you know, the detrimental effects on the ocean, like, you know, dumping stuff in, <laughs> in the, in the, on the streets uh, or, or throwing stuff down your toilet. Uh, and so, you know, we are working with uh, the World Ocean Observatory, the World Ocean Network to to you know, provide detailed guides in a kind of a you know in a simple language to uh, to citizens around the world uh, to exercise their stewardship role vis-a-vis uh, -vis the oceans. Thank you.